my book to, to kind of cover myself. Um, mostly Rosie the Riveters, um, but the numbers of women working in engineering and science and technical disciplines increased dramatically as well. Now sociologists tell us that there's a kind of interesting paradox in history, that in, in military history, they say when the risk to life and limb is greatest and the benefit of service is lowest professionally, that's when society is its most inclusive. And that, uh, and that when we feel the danger is low, we become increasingly exclusive and prejudicial. So um, certainly Langley's staff grew, I think it's been mentioned earlier, from 524 in 1939 to 3,288 in 1944. Um, and it was a turning point for uh, certainly uh, opportunities for women and particularly for minorities. Oops. So Japan uh, bombed uh, by um, B-29s at tested at NASA was the headline in the June uh, 24th to 30th, 1944 LM, uh, you know, Langley Bulletin. And the 1942 thank you letter from Eddie Allen, who was the director of flight and aerodynamics at Boeing, said this. Uh, quote, the cooperation given uh, in making possible the rapid development of the tests and the early availability of preliminary data has greatly enhanced the value, um, excuse me, value of the tests and reduced the time required for their conduct and the analysis thus appreciably assisting in the material speed up of operations. He was, quote, greatly impressed with the value of the eight foot high speed wind tunnel as a design tool the constancy of data obtained indicates the balance of this tunnel to be equivalent in any of this contractor's experience. The tunnel is operated by an experienced staff, and this is in no small part greatly responsible for its satisfactory operation. Um, 